Hi everyone, Farmer Questions here. In this video we'll be taking a look at agonists, partial agonists, inverse agonists and antagonists. So by the end of this video you should be able to explain what each of these terms means. So let's begin with agonists. So an agonist is a substance which initiates a physiological response when it binds to a receptor within the body and agonists mimic the effect of natural neurotransmitters or chemicals within the body. Now you might be wondering what exactly does this mean? Well let's take a look at some graphics and we'll break this down. So here we have a receptor and a receptor is a protein structure found on or inside a cell which selectively binds to different substances. So here we have an agonist and when this agonist binds to the receptor, the receptor gets activated and triggers a response within the body. So some examples of agonist drugs include heroin, oxycodone and methadone. Now let's take a look at partial agonists and you may have already guessed what these are judging by the name. A partial agonist is an agonist however it cannot achieve the maximal response that an agonist is able to achieve. So once again here we have a receptor and this time a partial agonist is waiting to bind um, to the receptor and when this partial agonist has binded the receptor gets activated however only a partial effect is achieved. So what happens if a partial agonist and a full agonist are present at the same receptor? Well, if they're both present at the same receptor, then the partial agonist will act as an antagonist. And you might be wondering what an antagonist is. Well, let's take a look. An antagonist is a substance which binds to a receptor and does not activate it. So no response is produced. Now let's take a look at the graphics so we can understand this better. So once again here we have the receptor and an antagonist wait is waiting to bind and when the antagonist has binded the receptor is not activated and no response is seen and because the antagonist has blocked the receptor by binding to it no other substances are able to bind either to produce an effect. So some examples of antagonist drugs include naltrexone, montelukast and haloperidol. And last but not least, let's take a look at inverse agonists. And this is where things get a little crazy. So once again, here we have the receptor and an inverse agonist waiting to bind. And when the inverse agonist has binded to the receptor, the receptor gets activated. However, the opposite pharmacological effect that would normally be produced by an agonist is seen. And you might be wondering what exactly we mean by an opposite effect. Well, think of it like this. If an agonist drug was to cause a sedation when it binds to its receptor, then an inverse agonist would cause wakefulness when it binds to its receptor. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching. And if you learned something new, feel free to leave a like or subscribe for future content.